Hello, in this audio we are going to learn preset canvases as well as how to resize an image. Many times when we're working with projects we may want to have a set of canvases or blank canvases for adding images, layers, drawings uh, to create vector drawings or raster graphics. So we're going to take a look at how to create some canvases. To create a canvas we can come up to our toolbar and click the new button or else go to file new and it will open up a dialog box for us to create a new image. One of the things that we're able to do to create a canvas or a reusable size is we can def define the size of the image that we want. So if I were to say I wanted to create an image that was 375 pixels by 375 pixels it's going to define that image. We can also, if we wanted to, define that in terms of inches, centimeters, uh, millimeters, again, depending upon what unit we wanted to use. Normally, when I'm working on a computer, I always define things in terms of pixels. Some other areas that we can also work with is the resolution or number of dots per inch. You can currently see that this is set at around 100 uh, dots per inch or pixels per inch. inch. That is a good number for working with images that might appear on computer screens. However, if you were going to do print images, you might increase that number to as high as 300 dots per inch to give you a better, better quality image. The one thing that you want to keep in mind is the, more, the higher the resolution and the higher the, the bigger or larger the size in number of pixels, will basically determine the size of the image based on the number of pixels and colors and things that would be uh, within that particular image. So you want to be aware of that. Again, the more pixels, uh, wider and larger, higher, as well as the higher resolution is going to drive the size of the image up. Now, also with regards to image characteristics, Normally, if you're working on a, a bitmap type image, you would create a raster graphic. If you're working with line art and want to do drawings, or if you're working with art media, you can create any type of uh, image that you want, again, depending upon uh, what your settings would be. We're going to leave this as a raster-based image. Also, you can select your color depth. This would be the number of colors that would be displayed in an image. So you can see we're going to use a red, blue, a red green, blue image, uh, 16 bits per channel. Okay, And again, you can come in and see that there are multiple channels if you want to do grayscale images, if you want to do two color images. Again, it's a matter of your choice. We're going to select that and we're going to also leave this, pal uh, this image as a white image. If I were to select there, you can see if I wanted to set a background color for an image, again I have choices of background color, gradients, what have you, depending upon what my choices might be. Again, I'm going to leave mine at white and then I'm going to save my canvas by clicking on the presets, clicking on save, and then entering in the size that I am creating. So I'm going to enter those in. I'm going to go ahead and save that and you'll notice that now I have that particular image size saved. If I select it, click OK, you'll notice that I now have an image that is 375 by 375. So that's how we go about creating a canvas to work with. Now the other area that I wanted to talk about was resizing an image. So if I were to select an image, and I'm pointing down here into um, uh, to view my files, you can see this is an 800 by, by 600 image. If I were to open that up, and you'll notice that it shows this right down here at the very bottom. It shows me in my status bar that this is 800 by 16, uh, 600. It is a red, green, blue image. 8 bits per channel. Now, if I wanted to resize an image, and again, this might be important, particularly if you're trying to email something and the image is very big. Cameras today with the high resolutions of 8, 10, 12, 
to 15 megapixel cameras, you can look at some very large images uh, when you're trying to transfer these files around. So again, to resize these, if you were to open an image up, come to image and come down to resize, this particular box will allow me, or dialog box, will allow me to select and resize. You can see that it gives me the dimensions of the image in uh, inches, as well as the, the resolution. Again, remember when we set up the uh, canvas just a minute ago, uh, it shows me the number of pixels per inch. So there are really two ways for me to decrease the size of this image. One would be to decrease the size. Uh, the other would be for me to reduce the resolution. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to change this to 640 pixels. And you'll notice as I type this in, okay, I've set to maintain the aspect race ratio so that everything will change symmetrically so that the image will look correct in terms of size so it won't look distorted by the changes in size. And again, if I were to click OK, you'll notice that now when I look at the very bottom down here, it displays the images 640 by 480. So that basically reduces the actual size of the image that I'm working with. So many times if you're trying to send files and they're too big to send or going to take a long time to download, this is something that you can do to improve uh, the ability to transfer files back and forth between uh, electronic media.